Welcome to City Chants online service for this Saturday. It's so good to see you. It's been so long since we've gotten together, but I'm here today to tell you a great little story and teach you something about devotion. That's a big word. I don't know. Let's find out more about that, shall we? Well, today I brought with me some special friends. This is Floppy. He's the main character in my story. And he also has some friends here. We have Clifford, the big red bird. And we have Wally, the little green frog. They're both very wise and a lot of fun. And they have extra special voices to go along with them. I hope you enjoy. And right after this, we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about devotion and see what we learn. Sound good? Okay, off we go. Ratatata, ratatata, ratatata. Uh, Floppy, what are you doing? I'm having fun. Hey, there's my Bible. Hello, Wally. You left your Bible in church last Sunday, and due to the global pandemic that has us under lockdown, I asked Grab if they could bring me to deliver it to you. Wow, thanks, Floppy. I sure have missed it. I would miss it too. My parents told me I can learn so much from the Bible, and they were right. That's so wise, Floppy. What did you learn from Wally's Bible this week? So many things I wouldn't even know where to start. Like I learned, if you drop the Bible from the tallest tree and screech is hollow, it takes two seconds to drop to the ground. And if you hit it really hard, like this, it makes loud drumming sounds like this. And Hold you, on, Floppy. That isn't what your parents meant by learning from the Bible. That's right. That isn't what you learn from the Bible because it's a very special book. Oh, sorry. You mean I shouldn't play the drums on it? That's a very good start. Then what do you think my parents meant? Well, if you open the Bible, okay. you will see you have to read it or have someone read it to you. That's 
how God's people learn about God and the right way to live from the stories inside it. Wait. This book is filled with stories? Yep. Floppy, let's go to a tall shade tree in Screech's Hollow, but this time we'll sit under it and I'll read you some Bible stories. I love stories. Are there any good ones? I can't wait to hear them. Let's go! Hi guys, welcome back. Wasn't that fun? I hope you enjoyed it. Today we're talking about devotion. We all know that prayer is a practice of communicating with God, but devotion is an act of prayer or private worship. Now you might say, Teacher Rox, I don't understand one bit. Well, that's okay. So I'm going to tell you why devotion is important. Devotion help us remember the important truth of what being followers of Jesus is all about. It's a time for us to think about the words and how to use them as a guide for us every day. In the uh, memory verse that's going to be shared with us today, it talks about Joshua in chapter 1, verse 8. It says, always remember what is written in the book of the teachings. Study it day and night, then you will be sure to obey everything that is there. If you do this, you will be wise and successful in everything. That's pretty smart and good advice. Kind of like an instruction manual. Might be worth reading and following every once in a while. I think it's a very good guide for our life every day. So how can you know God? Well, you need to accept Christ as your Savior, you need to read your Bible, obey the rules, you've got to pray, and have fellowship with other believers, just like you're doing today here with me. I hope you learned what devotion is all about. Take care. Bye-bye. today's activity to be creative and I am teacher Denise and I'm gonna help all of you be creative today all right so last week we learned the importance of having a daily devotional journal and this week we're going to decorate are you guys ready cuz I'm ready all right high five <laughs> very good Okay, so the first things we need to do is to settle our materials. Okay, so I have my crayons. Everyone has their crayons. I'm sure you all have your little crayons there. I have some markers, some colorful highlighters, and ball pens. And then you have your glue, and of course scissors so we can cut. But make sure you guys ask help from your mommy or daddy or Ata and Kuya so you can be safe. And of course, the most important thing, our daily devotional journal. Now, I hope you guys all have your journals. Let's raise them up. Let's raise them up. Where's your journals? Yeah, this one's mine. It's already quite colorful, so let's see what I can do with it. All right. And last but not the least, I'm sure you guys all have this. I have my stickers. You can decorate the inside, you can decorate the outside, and you can decorate the back of your journal. Okay, so first, what do I wanna do? Hmm, I wanna use some of this. I wanna use some of my stickers. Okay, let's look for something nice here. Okay, so how are you guys doing over there? Are you using your crayons? I'm gonna use some of my stickers, okay. 
also, you guys can do whatever you want to do, okay? Be creative, you can color, you can use your stickers and your markers and everything in between because being creative means there's no limits, okay? And of course, we're doing this for Jesus because this journal is for spending time with the Lord, remember? So we should do our best and be creative. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna write my favorite verse on the front of my journal. If you guys love a verse, you can put that on the front of your journal, okay? My favorite verse is trust in the Lord with all your heart. That's from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. And if you guys have that favorite verse as well, you can use that as well. But if you want to draw, you, you can draw your face, you can draw your family, you can draw you and Jesus even. The sky is the limit and you can use any colors you want. So I'm gonna use this crayon. If you guys want to color your hair red or yellow or pink, I love the color pink. That's why my wall is pink. So I'm gonna color the front of this blue and purple. I also like these colors. What colors do you guys like, huh? I'm gonna put some more stickers. Okay, someone might ask, Teacher Denise, why do we have to decorate our devotional journal? Well, that's a good question. It's just like when you go to a birthday party. You can see all the colors in the room and the decorations, and it's so fun and so exciting to see. That's just like why we should decorate our journal so we can celebrate our time with Jesus, right? High five. Very good. Okay, so I'm gonna put my name now. I hope you guys all use your devotional journals because this is what helps us remember the importance of spending time with the Lord. Okay, I'm gonna write my name. You guys can write your name in the front as well. I'm gonna write my name in pink. It's a very pretty color. And I love the color pink. Okay. So, you guys ready to show your journals? If you're done, that's great. If you're not yet done, it's fine. You can continue on even though we're done with the activity. So this is mine. Wow, look at that. Isn't it exciting to look at? Wow, I'm so excited to use it. Okay, this is exactly why we should decorate our journals so that we're excited to spend time with Jesus. So we're motivated. Aren't you excited to spend time with the Lord if your journal looks like this? I am. I'm very excited. All right, all right. So before we go, I will be giving all of you an assignment. Oh no, teacher Denise, an assignment? I know, I know. But this is a good assignment because it's going to help us spend time with the Lord. All right, so your assignment this for this week is to have a devotional with your family, with your ate, your kuya, your lola, your lolo, and have fun with your family. And you can use your journal as you do it. So don't worry because we have a one week devotional plan for all of you. And next week, we are going to share all the things we learn in our daily devotionals with our families. So I hope you all do your best, read your Bibles, use your journals, and get into the spirit of having fun with the Lord. All 
right, I hope you all had fun in our activity today. And I'll see you all next week in our City Champs Online live stream. And remember, Jesus loves you. Goodbye! Today, our memory verse is Joshua 1a. Always remember what is written in the book of the teachings. Study it day and night. We should always study our Bibles day and night. And we have to remember what is in our Bible. Let's say the memory verse again. Joshua 1a. Always remember what is written in the book of the teachings. Study it day and night. Wow, you all did great, City Chaps. Good job! See you next time! Hi, City Chaps. I'm back. Did you have fun today? Very good. Okay, do you still remember what your lesson was last week? Okay, it was about prayer. And today you learned about? Very good, devotion. So I hope you learned a lot about devotion today. Okay, let's do our memory verse together. Joshua 1a Always remember what is written in the book of the teachings. Study it day and night. Then you will be sure to obey everything that is there. If you do this, you will be wise and successful in everything. Very good. Now, Mr. O'Clock says it's time to close in prayer. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and put our hands together. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for today. We thank you for our lessons. We thank you for our teachers. We thank you for the activities because we had so much fun, Lord. We hope that you will keep us safe every day, Father Lord God. And help us to always remember to pray and study your word through our devotion. Thank you so much, Lord. We give you back all the glory and praises in your mighty and sweetest name. Amen. City Chums, it's time to say goodbye. But I will definitely see you again. And always remember that Jesus loves you. And I likewise do. Take care and bye. Bye.